Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here at the house. It's one of the hottest days of the summer at over 103 degrees. Today we have a lot of small projects that we need to complete. We will be buying a brand new dirt bike. We'll be doing some modifications to the F250 Tremor. We'll be picking up wheels for the 1999 project truck and we will be buying a water fountain. Before we get going, let's come over here and give Diesel a bowl of food. He's really been enjoying it out here. He's actually been swimming in the pool with the kids, which is awesome to see. While we are out here around this side of the house, let's check up here on the garden. Now, I have been watering the garden once a day towards the evening uh, since it's been so dry with little to no rain. And it looks like the tomatoes are almost ready to go. Probably in a few weeks, uh, we'll be able to pick them. And uh, that is pretty cool. But let's head over to the garage. I hope everyone's been having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My days so far been pretty good. The weather has been really warm and I've definitely had the AC cranked on when I've been in the house. Let's get all these garage doors opened up. Now I will have to say just opening these garage doors and looking inside is just amazing. It looks so cool and it's just awesome that we can own some pretty cool cars. Really do like the Porsche GT3, uh, the Audi R8 V10, the Project Truck getting new aftermarket wheels. Now you guys will have to watch uh, to the end to see what brand and what design I decided to go with. And this truck here will get quite a few upgrades to make it kind of a more off-road look. But why don't we hop here? in the tremor and head over to the uh off-road dealership if you so call it the kind of sports uh dealership to pick up the new uh dirt bike now uh we previously actually had a ktm dirt bike which was a great dirt bike i really did like it but we sold it and today we are buying a honda dirt bike and they actually did customize all the numbers to our channel numbers as well which is pretty cool now this is a pretty big honda dirt bike and the, this dirt bike was a bit pricey i think i paid uh, just over six thousand dollars for it so hopefully uh, we get a lot of good use out of it i really just kind of want to rip it around the yard and have fun i hope everyone's been having a great summer so far let me know how it is down below it's pretty much beach weather uh, maybe we have to go uh, fishing here in the game maybe go to beach here maybe at the end of one of these homeowner series videos but it's definitely warm out and uh, definitely trying to do some more projects inside with the ac and let's take this turn here but I'm really excited to be back here with the Homeowner Series. It's been a very fun series so far, very popular, and this is just awesome to record these. And there it is right up front. Now, I already did the paperwork. It's so much easier uh, doing the paperwork two, three days before you actually pick it up. Uh, that's usually how all the cars are. Now, one thing we have to do is a bed cover perfect and a tailgate. Awesome. And here we go, guys, a brand new Honda Dirt Bike. Now, I will have to kind of redo the numbers on it, but this thing looks awesome. Awesome. Now, one thing we will have to do is put the ramps out. And there we go. Those ramps are great. Now, I do want to add an extra ramp there in the center as well for the Dirt Bike and the Honda 3-wheeler. But now we have two Honda kind of off-road toys, which is nice. I just kind of want to change up the brands, see what the other brands offer and uh, just uh, kind of do that. I think that's always a fun thing to do. Now, I think we'll definitely rip this around the yard here today, but I do need to buy a new dart bike helmet. That's something we'll have to buy, and because this is an eight-foot bed, we should be able to uh, just uh, kind of close the tailgate there, which is great. Let's hop over here, and we'll close the tailgate. Perfect, and tailgate closed. Awesome, so we're all strapped down. If you do have any cool video ideas here for me, please let me know. I've really been enjoying all the videos here on the channel. It's a lot of fun uh, to record these every single day. Now, I will be doing a little bit more fancy editing coming up as well. I have a brand new editing software, which I've really been enjoying. And there's just lots and lots of things coming here to the channel, along with a big project that I might reveal maybe end of this week, uh, maybe next week. Uh, but I definitely want it to be perfect before I reveal it. Now this F-250 Tremor here has to be one of my uh, top trucks, if not uh, the greatest uh, truck in farming simulator for Ford. This thing is just awesome. Buck did an incredible job on it. I actually kind of want to park it over here because once we get unloaded and our fun with the dirt bike is over for today, I really want to do those mods uh, to this as well. This is going to be looking even better uh, with those modifications. Let's get the dirt bike unloaded here. We don't want to tear up the grass too, too much, but we'll have some fun. And I actually want to bring it back to this uh, 
garage here attached to the house that way we can have a little bit of fun but this pretty much was just a reskin of the KTM it, it looks a little bit better since I did kind of do a little bit of texture work there but just having fun ripping around I think we'll uh, have uh, some of the neighbors come over they always like seeing the new toys uh, that I end up buying I think today, uh, tonight's going to be a barbecue here and then uh, just hop in the pool, swim with everyone because it's just way too warm and uh, we don't want to be stuck inside the house. Get out of the house and just have fun during the summer months because once winter comes, there won't be much uh, fun to be had other than snowmobiling. Now, I think we'll just see if we can fit it in here. Perfect. Uh, the shed's getting pretty full, but uh, that looks to be good. Let's take a quick walk around here on the modifications. We'll be doing the first one here is remove. Uh, this bottom piece here is mainly for aerodynamics to get better gas mileage but with this big old 7.3 VA we really don't uh, worry about that so we are removing that that should be four or five little screws up next we are adding four to official mud flaps to the side that way when we're off-roading on the dirt we won't have it coming up damaging the paint and uh, definitely keep the debris from the uh, vehicle behind us so let's get uh, the tools here from back at uh, the cabinets and we'll get going after a half hour worth of work take a look there's a big big uh, uh, change here up front look that the splitter is gone there it looks even a little bit more kind of off-road looking in gives us that extra clearance now let me know down below in the comments guys should we uh, color match the front bumper or even the grill uh, to the blue I think it might look nice but I also kind of just like the look here of the black front end up next we'll come along the side here look at those mud flaps those look so cool the official Ford ones $80 for the set which was not bad as at all. I thought it was actually a bit on the cheaper side, which I was surprised for uh, being an OEM part. So why don't we put this here inside and let's hop in the Ranger Raptor. I really want to move that single axle trailer around back and then we'll uh, head over to the store and we will pick up those new uh, aftermarket wheels. Now I really want to be driving that 1999 to go pick it up, but we are getting a pallet and I want a bed cover for that truck. I, the bed's in really good condition and the last thing I want to do is to uh, be impatient and damage uh, that awesome bed. I don't even see any paint marks. Almost looks like they never used it, which is why I really want to preserve it with the cover. Now this trailer was pretty much just in the way here. Not enough room to really move around in, in, in the uh, driveway when we have multiple vehicles out from, but, but we'll just put it right along the side here. Now with the addition here of the ranch, we are doing three videos a week here with the homeowner series, which has been awesome. We really have been enjoying it. And also that ranch is coming along really well as, uh, as well. And awesome, we got that uh, done there. So let's head, head to the store. Now I think we'll be back with SnowRunner a video soon as well. I'm just trying to wait for more mods to come out and I am waiting uh, for some other mods but ATS will always be every week and uh, GTA will be uh, back. I took a one week break to kind of get the game uh, all worked out there with a few errors but hopefully uh, just a lot a lot of videos coming this summer. Now this uh, Ranger Raptor is awesome, one of my top but kind of smaller uh, quarter ton trucks here in the game and it's actually going to be coming up here to the left hand side and actually we got to stop and fill it up, she always leaves it almost on empty every time, every time I get in this thing it's almost on empty which is funny, I will just fill it up for her but here we go guys, I decided to go with fuel wheels, look at those tires, uh, those will look awesome, now with the offset they will kind of stick out uh, just a little bit, maybe an inch or two past the fender uh, to give it that more uh, sporty look and I just remembered there is a collision problem here but we got it all straight down so luckily we were able to get in and I just realized uh, that there was a problem so I will have to fix that in Giants editor and let's just stop here really quickly this 2.5 liter EcoBoost I uh, just uh, drink so so much gasoline now one thing I will have to say usually you would think a turbo gets a better gas mileage but these EcoBoosts they just uh, are just as bad as a big old V8 and it's filling up let's see already $30 here let's see what it's gonna top out at $52 93 octane and 93 is just a lot of money 
So the last thing we will be doing today once we get back, get this unloaded, is we will be uh, buying a water fountain. I really want a small water fountain right next to the gazebo because when you're sitting there just enjoying it, you hear the nice water coming out of it. And I think it will be awesome just to have there. So we'll pick it up. I believe I found one online. It should arrive soon. And uh, I think it was only around $150, kind of an older uh, style wood as well. But this property has been coming along really well. One of the, probably the best properties we've had with how uh, detailed we've been with the uh, driveway, with literally everything. It just looks so, so great. And the flowers all the way around the house have been great as well. And that looks to be good. Now I really do like parking here in the garage, it's just a big upgrade here for us and it keeps the vehicles nice and clean. Now I actually think uh, we'll leave that in there and we'll get this door closed, but actually before we go to the water fountain let's wash the uh, GT3 uh, because we are taking this to a car show tomorrow morning. Now I am just a big fan on washing cars, it's really enjoyable for me and I actually will be doing probably a video or two coming up washing my WRX right there seems to be good perfect and we'll grab a pressure washer i really do like having the pressure washer as well it's one sweet garage setup and that's also something i really want to get the uh, garage flowing in the main uh garage attached to the house awesome so probably about 10 15 minutes worth of cleaning here and then uh, we'll catch you guys in the backyard all right, the GT3 is all clean and ready to go for tomorrow. That took, I believe, just after timing it, 23 minutes. That isn't too bad there, and it definitely looks a lot nicer. I always just like driving a nice, clean car. I call it pride of ownership, and just taking care of things as well helps in the long run. And let's come over here, give uh, Diesel uh, just a pet him here. He always likes just rolling over here. Look at that. That is awesome, and I think he'll follow us around. Let's see. Chase us. Yeah, here we go, Diesel. Uh, that is just awesome. Awesome. So why don't we get the water fountain in place and then we'll call it a day. And here we are. Take a look at the water fountain. Like I have touched upon, I got it for a great price. It actually was on a discount and I thought it would look so cool here. Now one big factor as well for doing this, we could just kind of, there's an outlet right over here now so we could take our water pitcher and water the tomatoes. No problem. Since it is 103 degrees out, why don't we get a running start here and jump into the pool and actually we got to go from this side here. Running start here, and let's jump in. Oh, this is a lot nicer. Uh, definitely going to be swimming here probably for the next uh, maybe half hour, two hour. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the house. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.